I absolutely horribly failed my test. Literally, my doctor called and used the words horribly failed. If you don't know what the ACTH stim test is, it's for adrenal insufficiency, and basically they take your baseline blood, and then they inject you with cortisol, and then they take your blood at 30 minutes and 60 minutes to see what your body is doing with that cortisol. My body did nothing with it. I really hate showing numbers, but I wanna help make this make sense to people. So this is back in December when I first got my cortisol tested and we found out it was a problem. It was at 2.8 where the range is 6.2 to 19.4. This is for 8 a.m. testing. So then here, this is my test from yesterday. So my baseline was 2.4, which is even lower than last time I did it. And also I am on steroids, but you take you stop taking the steroids for a day before this test. So again, this was my baseline. Then at 30 minutes, it went up a little bit to six, but it was supposed to be closer to like over here, the 13.8. Then we get to the 60 minutes and we got up to 7.6, which you would think, oh, Juliana, it's increasing. That sounds good. You're wrong. It was supposed to be way up here by 60 minutes. So this entire thing, my, my body just didn't do. So for now, I have to stay on my steroids and then I'll take this test again in three months and I'm gonna get an MRI of like my pituitary gland because later my ACTH portion came and last time it was just borderline low, but this time it was actually low. And from my understanding, when your ACTH is low, that means you have secondary adrenal insufficiency, which is I think what I'm getting diagnosed with right now, versus primary adrenal insufficiency or what's called Addison's disease. One means that your brain isn't sending the signals and the other one means that your brain's sending the signals, but the gland's not like receiving them properly or like doing what it needs to do with those signals. Mine, because my ACTH is low, it seems like my brain is sending the signal and my gland is just not listening whereas if my acth was like really really high that means like it just keeps sending that signal over and over and over again and that's why that number is so high i spent the day yesterday being like really disappointed um but i realized that's not a way to be but i let myself sit in my emotions for a day and now i'm trying to be better and you know what this is just what has to be done i don't really have a choice in it there's nothing more i can do to help the situation following what my doctor told me and at least i feel really good about my doctor and even during the test actually my nurse also has my doctor as her doctor, which made me feel really good too. But overall, this is shitty news and the steroids are helping. I just don't like what they're doing to me otherwise, which apparently they don't always do. And it's just like a reaction my body is having, of course. But you know, that was the follow-up from the phone. She called me and we have a follow-up in person next week. So I will keep everyone posted.